Chapter 6, Section 1, Examples of Average Value of Doom! So, let's start, people. Let's say we got a thing that's all like, a function has values, blah, 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 blah. And we want to find the best estimate for the average value of f between 5 and 20. Now, dudes, when you see a table, at this point, if your brain is super fried by a lot of turkey, then you're going to be like, I don't know what to do with a table. And maybe if your brain's not completely fried, then you're going to remember that table means we can do left-hand sums and right-hand sums. But here's the thing, people. Let's start getting our brains in gear for the final. And on the final, when you see a table, it might mean derivatives, it might mean integrals, whatever. You're going to have to read and get some context clues. So before you just go willy-nilly and start doing sums, then remember what the formula for average value is. Let's write that puppy out. The answer that we're looking for is going to be this. Uh, we're looking for between 5 and 20. So the answer is going to be 1 over 20 minus 5, integral from 5 to 20, f of x, dx. Um, dudes, this is the thing that we're looking for, and now you can go back up and be like, yo, I don't have a formula for f. If I had a formula for f, I could just plug that into the integral, calculate that puppy, and we'd be golden. But nope, what I got me is a table. And therefore, if I'm trying to find the best estimate for an integral formula, like this puppy right here, if I'm trying to estimate that dude and all I have is a table, then that's going to be left-hand sum, right-hand sum, average those guys together. So here's the answer you should be getting. We're going to do 1 over 20 minus 5 times uh, 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 left-hand sum plus right-hand sum, all divided by 2. So that's our goal, dudes. And here's how we're going to do it. Um, when we do this left-hand sum and right-hand sum, don't forget that we're only going to do the sums in between 20 and 5. I underlined the wrong things at the wrong times, but whatever. 20 and 5. And so, dudes, because of that, we're not even going to look at the value for 0 or the value for 25. Those literally do not exist as far as we are concerned. So pay attention to the bounds and remember what that means about the values you use for the table. All right, the left-hand sum numbers look like they're 6 minus 2 and 4. So this is going to be 20 minus 5. Um, 6 plus, well, all right, wait, let's do it like this. Let's write out left-hand sum equals delta x, which is 5. And then we said 6 minus 2 and 4. Kind of the same deal. The right-hand sum is going to be 5 times, because, dudes, that's our delta x. And it's going to be minus 2, 4, and 9. Minus 2, plus 4, plus 9. And let's figure out what these numbers are. Um, this is 8 times 5 is 40. And this is um, 2, 11, 55. So, dudes, the answer that we're looking for is 1 over 20 minus 5 is 15. And then we're going to do the average of these puppies. So it's going to be 40 plus 55 over 2. Let's simplify that out. We still have 1 over 15. 40 plus 55 is um, 95 divided by 2. And then, dudes, this is just a fraction. This should end up being 95 over 30. And you can simplify that if you want to. But guess what? I don't want to. So I'm going to leave it like that. And, you know, that's cool and stuff. Um, this problem was easy so long as you remembered that the formula we were working with was this formula for um, 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 average value, and that if we're trying to approximate that integral because we don't have a formula, you just got to do left-hand sum, right-hand sum, divided by 2. No biggie. All right, let's move on. Dudes, uh, number two. How about one of these? A function has a graph, blah, blah, geometric crap. Find the average value of f between 4 and 15. I'm not actually going to calculate this out, and in fact, it's impossible because I haven't written down the y values on this graph. But uh, just so we're clear, um, what you want to do is write down that the answer is 1 over 15 minus 4, integral from 4 to 15, f of x. And when you are trying to figure out what the crap your f of x integral thingy is, well, if all you have is a graph, you're looking at area. And not just any area, but in particular, the area between 4 and 15. So we don't care about any of this crap here. Actually, maybe I shouldn't highlight that. Maybe I should highlight this. Here's the stuff we do care about. We care about all the area from 4 to 15. And we also want to like cut our stuff up in a way that makes it easy to find that area. And so the way I'm drawing it is the easiest way to cut this stuff up for geometric purposes. 
And dudes, that's everything. I went between 4, I went between 15. I'm not going to mess around with the stuff to the left of 4 or to the right of 15 because it's not even part of our integral. So you do that and you're golden, dogs. Let's move on.